What is going on people of the Smart Society? Matt here from mksmarts.com and in this video, this is going to be actually part two in the Ubiquity Upgrade Network uh, transformation series. Enjoy. <laughs> So I am Matt from the future. The rest of the video you're going to be seeing Matt from the past. But Matt from the future has to say that in this video we're going to be finalizing the network. We're going to be putting it in all of its place in the basement. Um, and then we're also going to see if we can fix the uh, APACLR or I'm going to have to throw it away. Who knows? That's at the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole thing. All right, let's get into part two. All right, so first we're going to start off by moving all of the servers and all of this stuff over here onto the shelf up there. So here's a time lapse. So, so far, I think this is how I like the top shelf. So I put all of them sideways like that. We got the surveillance server, the APC, the web server, and I think I might put the switch like this. Actually, now that I think about it, that's not a good idea because there's a vent down here. And that's for airflow. So actually, that's not gonna be like that. I might put it like this. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. But uh, now I'm gonna start over here. And I'm going to reorganize this. I have to take out these Raspberry Pis. I think I'm also going to put them up here. And I have to reorganize this because I have to put the new uh, security gateway up there. So here's another time lapse. Whoa, 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 whoa. We take a break from these super epic network time lapses to bring you a message from the best PCB company in the world and that is PCBWay. PCBWay is a company that is full feature PCB prototyping. So they have SMD stencil, PCB prototyping, uh, advanced PCBs, and they have SMD stencil as well as many more things that they can do for you. They have high quality PCBs, fast turnaround times, uh, on time shipping, 24 hour customer service, free DFM, and no minimum requirement. Right now, PCBWay is having their PCBWay big sale, which is their holiday festival. And this month in December, which is from the 1st to the 31st, they have so many coupons up to $470 in saving. They also have big sales up to 70% off of their services, which in addition to my cash code, which is on the screen, you can get $5 off your order which depending on how many PCBs you get, your order might be free. So head on over to PCBWay.com now.
All right, so I got all of this all cleared out. All the old networking equipment is here. I just have the modem just sitting right there. And then it's all right here, just a big mess. We got the two old routers sitting there. But now we're gonna go ahead and mount up the Ubiquiti. We're gonna mount up the modem and the other switches and then wire it all together. So little update, we got everything all mounted up on this wall now. The modem is mounted up there. The new Unify uh, security gateway is there. Switch is right here. And I actually, I originally said I was gonna put these up here, but I decided to keep the Raspberry Pis on this wall just cause I, turns out that I did have the space for it. So got those all connected to the switch, which I also mounted over here. And those are all connected to power too and everything is all running. I also have the access point sitting here right now, just that way I have Wi-Fi while I work. So next I'm going to work on wiring up all these servers and switch right up there. All right, serious progress has been made. So basically this entire part of the network is I think so far complete for what I have so far. Uh, when I mean so far is I still have to run cables uh, into the house for the security cameras eventually. And uh, I also put this access point up here temporarily because that needs to be mounted somewhere over there in the basement. But I'm gonna walk you through what I have so far. So again, here we have the surveillance server. This is up and running already. Um, then we have the APC uh, backup battery. And then we also have the file server, which is also up and running. And then here we have the uh, POE switch. This is where all the security cameras are gonna get plugged in. And actually one of them is already connected. It's right here. And so what my plan is, is all of them are just gonna loop up like that since there's only uh, nine more, I believe. And then we got the Aeris Surfboard SB1641. Then I got the uh, the main Ubiquiti router, the switch, the Pies are all up there. Uh, all these cables are color coded. There's that switch, there's this switch, it's on right there. And then, oh, I still have to get double-sided tape and I think I'm gonna tape it right there, the, the cloud key. And that's what we got so far. That wasn't a proper walk around, but that's what I got so far. Now I gotta go change out the other access points. All right, so for now I have the uh, AP AC Pro sitting here in my room to replace the old access point. Well, it was technically a router, but I called it an access point. So I have the um, AP AC Pro sitting here. I have one of them coming in from the POE through the wall from the, the Unify switch. And then I also have it going to my computer as a pass-through. But in the future, this will be mounted in the hallway. 
but I just have to run a cable there and I haven't done that yet. But the next access point we technically should install is the APACLR, but the access point is currently dead. So I guess we're just gonna move on with the video. All right, so good news. I figured out how to fix the APACLR. Uh, I found a guide online that uh, told me exactly which diode to remove and it was D23. That is, it's basically acts like a fuse. And so I did that, as you can see, it's removed right there. I also purchased one of these adapters from Ubiquiti and it converts 48 volts to 24 volts, which is exactly what I need. And the, I just have to put it back in the case, but it's up and running and working. I checked on Ubiquiti and it's uh, the cloud key recognized it. So that's good. So if you guys ever burn out your APACLR, just, you can either remove or replace uh, the D23 diode. That's right there. It's a TVS diode. So it basically acts like a fuse. So cool. I'm going to close this back up and then we're going to go put it in the garage. Place the access point right here. There we go. The power adapter sitting there and then the access point sitting there. So it's going to be in the garage and pointing outside. And that is a wrap for the network um, series that I made. It's so far it's two parts. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any more. Uh, I just have to tidy up a little things in the network, such as put the access points in their spots that they're going to be, and then run all the cameras. But I might save the cameras for the surveillance system guide video series. But in the description, you'll find links to all the parts and devices used in this video, as well as a link to mksmartos.com slash shop, where you can pick up smart home kits, such as the fire sensor we talked about in the first episode or a blinds control and those are all kits that you can put together or you can get the assembled option and I'll put them together for you. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it please press that like button it really helps the YouTube algorithm and push my videos so you can get more smart home enthusiasts on this channel and grow the smart house society. But if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below or head on over to mksmarthouse.com slash forum. Goodbye. Oh.